Before we get to Turnpike, because obviously that's the big one, we haven't recorded since they split, uh, Shotgun Writer broke up. They only had one album, I think, and then like an EP or two. Yeah, I, and I want to say that Shotgun. either one of them or both of them or something, I swear that they also had music, or at least one of the singers had music under a different name, too, yeah, or part of a different a, band. He was... Uh, Oh my god, why can't I think of I can that? see the album cover of the dude standing there, but I can't fucking think of what the band was. They I'm both sure... sing Texas Rain, so I yes, have to look up by the exactly. Song. That's exactly it. I remember Seven hearing... Miles South. Is yes, because I, I remember hearing Texas Rain come on by them instead of Shotgun Rider, and I'm just like, wait a second. <laughs> it sounds yeah. like the same guy. <laughs> it was actually, yeah, it was actually, that was actually the first one I heard of that, because the Paul Oduro, which is the Shotgun Rider's... Uh, new newest album that came out a little over a year ago. Mm. Uh, that one has, I was going to say a cover, but it's the same fucking person. It has the Texas Rain on it, but the other one had come out way earlier. Oh, gotcha. Um, but the, yeah, Shotgun Rider, I actually loved them for a song that was on their EP. Um, oh, they've had a, they had, a, uh, they had three, four EPs. Okay, so they had a decent amount. But their very first EP, they had a song called Alone Tonight, and I fucking loved that song. That's the song that got me into them. That came out in 2015, so yeah, I've mm. been listening to that song for a while. Um, but yeah, so it really sucks that they're splitting. I'm sh- I mean, obviously, it's not like yeah. they're giving up on music. It's just that Shotgun Rider is no more, so I'm sure either that yeah. guy will go back to Seven Miles South or... You know, or they'll make a new but, thing or something. You know. Yeah, yeah I, I would say... Texas Rain is probably the only song that I can think of that I would be able to sing like all the words to for them, but I really like that song and I do like their sound. So yeah, it it is it is sad. sad I really like. I remember saying this when it came out. Paulo Duro was a cool album because it was half like super d- traditional and then half kind of contemporary, but it was never like bro. It was just exactly kind of contemporary sounding and I really that mid two thousands era sound. Yeah. They had they had the ability to be like radio quote unquote radio friendly and yeah. it just sucks that that never happened but yeah it really sucks that they're splitting but I'm sure we'll get new shit from from them eventually but uh, the bigger one obviously I, th- I think they split like the day we put the episode up about their album uh, two weeks ago is uh, uh, Turnpike Troubadours as everyone knows if you have any fucking sense at all uh, Turnpike. Sp- or they didn't split up. They're on indefinite hiatus, quote yeah. unquote. Uh, which obviously, not to spread rumors and shit, but obviously, I'm guessing it's Evan Felker fell off the deep end again. Yeah, I, I would imagine again pure speculation. But if I had to guess, it's got to be you know, you know, he had more issues, and then the band probably just trying to figure out a way to help him, and just you know. The yeah. best way to help him is just to be like, hey, we're just not doing shit until you get your life sorted or something along those lines. Yeah. But it does and, suck. And and it's a and it's like a, a selfish feeling as a fan to be like, what the fuck? I want more music. I want more mm-hmm. touring. Blah, blah, blah. And, yeah, so, his, his and so that sucks. His mental and yeah, emotional state that, is a little more important. Exactly. And so that's why you always got to be you know cautious about the way that you approach it. But as a fan... It's just sad, you know. There, yeah. there were a, an incredible band. Yeah, um, I can't Florida Georgia Line split up <laughs> <laughs> because, like I've said many times, Steve, God hates me and does not want me to be happy. <laughs> what about Ban and Gay? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's uh, yeah. So it's super sad. Um, I'm glad it's another one of those situations like Merle Haggard getting to see him before he died. Like, well, at least I can say that I got to see Turnpike play live a couple times. Um, yeah, and they were really good, them. and they, and their their catalog of music, even though it's just the four albums, um, is yeah. incredible. And so it's like, yeah. it's it's sad. It, it sucks. I, I wish them, you know, I wish that they will be able to figure it out and come back and, and do stuff again, and, and you know, give us more music. Um, but even if they never do, they still gave us some of the greatest music out oh, there. Yeah. Especially four, in the 2000s, that, 2000s yeah. 2010s, they fucking dominated in terms of quality of music. And so for that, I am forever grateful that Turnpike yeah. existed at all. 
that if you were to put together a list of your hundred favorite albums of all time, you could easily put all four albums on it. Like, yeah, it's there. Yeah. It's unbelievable how great they are, what they gave to us. Uh, yeah, it just sucks. Cause you kind of have to be the pessimist, but realist of that. They're probably gone. They're gone for at least it, a, a while. couple years. Yeah. It's, it's because, not, it's not a, it does not appear to be a, Oh, this time next year, we'll get them mm-hmm. talking about coming back out again. Um, cause I, I thought, you know, I seeing stuff on, on social media and whatever, you know, people referencing when, when ragweed broke up and how, you know, you still get a version of that with Cody Canada playing with his new band. And so it's kind of like, Hey, maybe something like that could happen. And it's like, Oh, well maybe you never know. But, uh, it is, yeah. it, it's a, it's a huge, it's a huge fucking deal. Yeah. I think I, I'm tr- I was trying to think, I think I've seen him four times. So I'm twice at Medicine Stone, once at Windy City Smokeout. That's all I saw. Him. Is, we, is that it? Was it only three times? Because I don't think I saw him anywhere else. I only saw him in. Saw I him think in, it was that I was gonna see them at other times. Well, they were gonna be in Chicago to, again. They canceled that show two or three times. Yeah. But uh, yeah. So yeah, it sucks. Hopefully, the wish the best for Evan, but. Yeah, I saw I saw posts from the band members, like the individuals on their social medias, and they're like, "Oh, this was some of the best times I ever had, and thank you for everything." And so, obviously, it's not a "we'll be back soon." It's a "hopefully we'll be back one day." And yeah, it sucks. Yep. But yeah, hopefully Evan gets you know through his shit. Um, but, yep. I mean, because it's also not it's obviously you know speculation shit, but it's obviously him because no offense to anyone else in the band, they can be replaced. Like, Evan Felker is the songwriter and singer. He kind of needs to be in the band. So if it was like, oh, the drummer got fucked up again, they'd be like, all right, well, we'll get a new drummer. Like, <laughs> they, like it wouldn't be. So, yeah, it's obviously him and 